I'm using the Flipper Zero to turn on a TV that doesn't appear to be in the IRDB at least. So universal remotes, TVs. And now it's gonna run through all the signals and we'll eventually get it. Make sure to point the blaster at least in the general direction of the device. This is a Fujicom one, so it's not so popular. It should eventually turn on. And then you could see on the screen now what signal is at. There we go. Now it turned on. And it's still going to continue going through it, so there could be a few Fujicom devices. I'm just going to stop it. And let's do the mute. Let's see if it turns on you. Because it's universal, we don't have that many options. And there's less commands for mute available. We could increase the volume. And it does a brute force attack, basically. So it goes through however many options are in the universal remote. So that's why it's better to find an exact one for your model. But if you don't, this works. So let's try channel. There's only 56 options. And then obviously power off will work, but it goes through like 200 devices. That one didn't work. Uh, let's power it off, and then I'm going to show you how it works with the air conditioning. So nearly 300 devices. And I'm not touching any remotes, I'm not even have the remote to this TV. I'm holding the phone with both my hands. There we go, and it shut off on 95. Now let's go to ACs. This AC is Mitsubishi, so there is a special option, and there even is a flipper app for it. Uh, I'm just gonna shut it off, because I also don't have the remote to this, so I don't wanna mess up it too much. You could hear it now that's blown here, and then it just shut off. There's 29 options. So if you went to the IRDB or the Flipper apps, you should be able to see AC, and then you could go down alphabetically. It depends how many you decided to import. I've never developed a flipper app, but I do know C and C++. So if, if you guys want, I will consider developing like an app to maybe search through items and go through quickly. So let's try uh, power on since it's off. This was uh, Hitachi, sorry, not Mitsubishi. Even as a Lamborghini air conditioning. So let's just go through the first one. And it does happen to work. And now it's back on. On the Flipper App Store, there is also a special remote for Mitsubishi. I already downloaded it, and you could click on Infrared. And then if you download the remote, it's right over here. It doesn't do much more than the cross remote does, or than the specific one for it. For some reason, my phone's not focusing. So it has off mode, fan, and vein, I guess. It is nicer about this is that you could see the current status. So vein appears to change if it oscillates or not. And you can see there's auto. Yeah. So that actually is helpful if you have a Mitsubishi remote. Mitsubishi air conditioning and let's turn it on and let's lower the thing to 20 because I'm hot and it definitely gets the command 